Um, yeah, so welcome back to one of every block in every version. Um, it's been a little while since the last stream, but here we are. Um, we have Ethan with us again. Hello, good evening. Indeed. Um, so during the last stream, we got a little bit lost, um, which was unfortunate. But anyway, I I was trying to decide whether I should like. There's no F three yet in InfDev, so I was trying to decide if I should just like look up my coordinates in my save file or something. I figure like if it's in my if I'm just reading the save file and not writing it, it should be okay. But then I was thinking like, well, then you can look at the seed, uh, and like find structures from that, um, or you could just look at like the region files and find out where like diamond ore is, for example. So I feel like I kind of have to draw the line somewhere and I'm deciding if it's not like built into the game, I'm just like not gonna allow it. So I think that's pretty reasonable. Um, Ethan, can you check on Twitch if it is like actually streaming? Because for me in the stream preview, I just have like a black rectangle. Yes, let me pull up your Twitch. It, uh, yep, it's there. I can okay, see cool. everything. Great. Um, great, so here we are. Yeah, so I did get some diamonds and a good amount of iron, or a diamond and a, a lot of iron, actually. There's a couple stacks. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna cut down a tree and, uh, put this stuff in a chest and then I'm gonna, like, jump off a cliff plan because i i truly have no idea how to get back to our house from here it's a weird structure okay um oh i already had a crafting table okay and like i don't know if i'm ever going to come back across this stuff but i'm going to put it in a chest anyway because on the off chance that i do it would be nice to cover this and you know have the like the oh i remember this kind of a moment and you can't shift click stuff in this version. <laughs> so this is going to take a couple of seconds. Um, but yeah, I uh, am going to have to remember which like blocks and items we have left. Um, but I know we had, I think we had diamonds left and I think we got all the iron stuff. But oh yeah, all the like diamond tools and armor and stuff will take a little bit of time. So probably going to be a lot of caving. Okay. Everything's in there. So are you a cliff? Kind of. Oh yeah. And there's no sound in this version. I think there's like mods that add the sound back in. Um, but I don't care about it that much, and we're not going to be in this version for too long, I don't think. Oh yeah, here's our house. Cool. Okay. Um, so what have you been up to, Ethan? I have been cleaning. That, that has been the extent of my day. Uh dealing with the apartment or our toilet is leaking which is very mm. nice so no, sometimes you know sit on the toilet you know you pull your you put your pants on the ground and then when you lift the pants back up they're uh, soft and wet so yeah uh, that's that's not good <laughs> it's unpleasant so we need to get maintenance in and fix that because mm -hmm. um yeah not, not very pleasant my um uh, toilet is currently in a state where I have to like flush it twice like no matter what is in it um so I don't know if that's like a maintenance problem or if, if the toilet is just like constructed wrong constructed wrong <laughs> skill issue on the part of the toilet developer <laughs> Oh yeah, minecarts have a really weird texture for the item form. <clears throat> um, 
Okay, so yeah, it looks like we're missing a lot of the gold stuff and a lot of the iron stuff. Actually, no, we have most of the iron stuff, but we're missing the iron block, I believe. Or block of iron. Yeah. And then a lot of the gold stuff and then the diamond stuff. So I guess we could just do some caving. Seems like a good way to find that stuff. And hopefully not get lost this time. Mm-hmm. I think it's interesting how the minecarts used to be like storage things. Like they acted basically how the minecart with chest acts now. Mm -hmm. um, like I guess I guess the idea was that you would take them with you when you're mining for like extra storage. Um, I, kind yeah, of cool. I, I. But they also can't break, so it's like. Yeah, you can't break them, and like. You're not really going to get iron fast enough to make the tracks. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, we have a good amount of stuff in here. I'm going to smelt this iron and gold and then make some iron armor. Let's go. To replace what we've lost. And some iron tools as well. It looks like the last time you streamed, perhaps this is wrong, last time I posted that you had streamed was in the very beginning of March. So almost six months right. ago. Yeah, I, I was backing up the world before the stream and um, because I like at some point I was like, oh, I should back up the world before every stream because the one time it like got corrupted and now I'm like, I don't want that to happen again. Right. Um, and I guess I, I, I only found one like existing backup that was from March. So I guess I thought about it and then I streamed once <laughs> and then didn't stream again. So March sounds right to me. It matches up with that. Okay, we've got some iron tools, we've got some iron armor. Let's go. Um, okay, so we're mostly looking for gold and diamonds on this uh, outing. Oh, I should probably have some food with me, shouldn't I? Where okay. I wonder if I have any food in here yet. Not really. Okay, we can make one piece of bread. Yeah, I guess, yeah, if we see any cows, or not cows, any pigs on the way, we can kill those and mm -hmm. take their meat. I'm gonna make a furnace as well to bring with me. What do you think was your favorite Minecraft update? Uh, I don't know. I um, I realistically didn't play. Like I actually spent the most of my Minecraft time playing Minecraft, like the classic one in the web browser. Mm -hmm. Um, and I started in 1.3. Okay. Um, like release 1.3. I was kind mm -hmm. of a late bloomer. Um, and I stopped in 1.8. So I know what my least favorite update is. The one <laughs> that, uh, messed up fighting. 
So I think that was 1.9. Yeah, that was the combat update. Um, favorite update? I don't know. I, I got I gotta see what the change logs are for all the different updates. And I have that. Oh, yeah. Because I have that project. Let's see here. Where is yes? I think for me, I guess I mean one point seventeen was pretty cool when they added all the new caves. Or was that one dot eighteen? I forget when they actually did the caves themselves. All right, let's see here. I have the uh, Excel spreadsheet pulled up. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you just going by what blocks picture. they added? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'll i have to look at the mechanics and stuff later, obviously, but... There were a lot of, like, in the beta versions, um, I think it was around beta, like, when they added, like, pistons in, that was a pretty big thing. Mm-hmm. 1.5 had a lot of redstone stuff in. Right. I gotta be biased towards that. That was like hoppers and stuff and comparators. Yeah, hoppers, comparators, detector rails, daylight detectors, mm -hmm. block of redstone, which apparently was not a thing before then. Yep. I remember like, um, I thought the I thought the hoppers were pretty cool, uh, but when they added, or like seeing the like comparators in that update i remember i looked up like how do the comparators work and it's like oh if it's in this mode it subtracts and if it's in this mode it does this other thing and i was like i like i i never like think about redstone signals as like an analog thing i mean now of course that's like the whole point of the comparators is you can get like analog signals out of like hoppers and chests and stuff and you can use that for all sorts of cool things but like when mm -hmm. they first added that i was just like uh you know redstone signals as like an analog thing is way too much to think about and i'm never going to use the comparator and i didn't use the comparator for like years after they added it but now i feel like i kind of get how it works yeah i i i had the same thing however i still have not used them but i've not been doing much redstone mm -hmm. so i that that's on me you you have that crazy uh Ender chip, not Ender chest, Ender Pearl transportation oh, center yeah. with like miles and miles of redstone. <laughs> it, I, I was realizing later, like there are ways to do like that sort of thing with less redstone, but I guess it would also be less quick. But you can do like, I saw an interesting idea of like making like a skulk sensor that activates like a piston or something, and then another skulk sensor like here's the piston and activates another one. And that way you don't need to place like all that redstone um mm. but then you also have to wait for the sound to propagate um mm -hmm. but there's other ways to do it even quicker than what i have like you can have um like when a piston uh extends that takes one like redstone tick or is it one game tick i forget but when a piston retracts it does it in like zero game ticks effectively like if you retract a redstone if you retract a sticky piston that has a redstone block on it then like the the thing it's connected to turns off in the same tick and the thing it's connected to could be another sticky piston right so if you have like a line of like stick extended sticky pistons with redstone blocks and you retract the first one they all retract like in the same game tick hmm. um so using something like that, and then of course, like you just do it every like 15 blocks and you have redstone between them. Um, you can make it like instant instead of what I have, which is just repeaters, but yeah, um, it's a little more expensive to do it that way. And it is a little laggier <laughs> when, yeah. when you do retract them. <laughs> we are 
this is just like our personal server and not like what's going on with the Twitch, obviously. But we are in a slime chunk, so there is no shortage of slime balls. Thing. That's true. Yeah, I like that a lot because usually when I do redstone stuff, I I I've never like learned how to like make a slime farm correctly. I feel like every time I do it, I mess something up, and it's like I can just like look online like how to build a slime farm, and then I know how to do it. But I prefer like reading like what the mechanics are on the wiki and then figuring it out from that mm -hmm. um and i haven't figured out how to make a slime farm yet so it is really nice to actually like have slime because a lot of times i want to do stuff and i have to figure out how to do it with like normal pistons instead of sticky pistons right i've always wanted to make like those like flying machines like oh, once yeah. like slide blocks came out i wanted to oh game over um i wanted to make like a base that like i don't i don't think this is like a thing you can do realistically but like a whole base that just moves over the overworld that's a i like that idea a lot the big uh potential issue i see with it is you can't piston like chests and barrels and stuff you can't yeah can um, you piston blocks that have those on top i'm assuming no well yeah but then the chest doesn't move mm. oh um, okay i don't know you might no i don't think you can do shulkers i think they break and everything else is just not movable it's if I remember right, although I read about this like before 1.13, and I think they've like changed the save format a number of times. But at one point, it was because like if you uh, the way that it saves them is like not amenable to like having them be moved. Like you mm. would, I, I don't know if it's a situation where you have to do like a really expensive search every time or what it is, but for some reason, it's just like not like technically easy to do. Um, mm. But I I feel like I feel like I read somewhere that it's a thing in Bedrock because they have like a different save format where it can be done. Yes, Minecraft Dev YouTube. It has been a while. <laughs> it's um, been a while indeed. We have not streamed since beginning of March, but it's it we 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 begin again. Indeed. And this time we will beat Minecraft. By the end of the stream, we'll be at 1.8. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Benji has made a uh, pact to not stop streaming until they're at 1.8, <laughs> actually. Um, so very, very interesting to see um, what month they'll be done. <laughs> Perhaps we'll have the longest continuous Twitch stream on record by the end. I, I don't think uh <laughs> I, I, I think I would like physically like die before that. <laughs> well then you definitely would have the longest twitch stream because you can't you know turn it off. Where did I get the item list? Um so I spent like two days uh going back and forth between the Minecraft wiki and Google Sheets <laughs> and like looking up every item and seeing what version they added it, which is definitely not the most efficient way to do it, but uh, and it's probably just like when, full of mistakes. <laughs> and not just when it was added, when it was obtainable, there's a difference. Yeah, I, I guess like looking back on it, there's probably ways you could like scrape the wiki and then do some kind of like natural language processing, but um, there's I actually know, I was having a slow weekend. <laughs> I found this afterwards for a entirely separate project. There is an API um, that has already scraped the Minecraft wiki and okay. other resources. Um, and I used that for a lot of um, that other project because it like okay. had links to all the different images mm -hmm. mm. plus a bunch of other information. But I don't know if it had specifically obtainable in survival. I published the list. Um... Yeah, I can look into, like, exporting it to, like, a CSV and putting it somewhere. <clears throat> or I guess, Ethan, maybe you could do that. Yeah, I can do that. I mean, nothing too fancy about it, realistically. 
Um, and like, I, I am sure that it has errors in it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, here I'll make nothing. a copy of it just so it's not on the raw one. Okay. Um, and then I can I don't know. Put a read-only link to the copy that work. Sure. All right. I hate that uh, Google Sheets doesn't have, or well, I guess all the Google things anymore. They don't have the link shortener already in the thing. Oh yeah. Did they get rid of their link shortener? They got. I think goo.go. Are you talking about that one? Yeah. You. It's. I know I tried to make a short link with that, like, I don't know how many years ago, and they were like, you can't make new ones anymore. Which, I I don't know if, like, my theory is people were using it for, like, scams. Well, I mean, uh, everyone's using... Everything for scams, yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's a link to a copy um, of it. Ignore the obtained column. <laughs> Actually, I'll just remove it, because it's not relevant. Um, as Benji said, no guarantees on whether or not this is accurate. Oh, um, and I should probably also say it's not strictly the version that they like added it into the game. It's the version that it like became obtainable. Right. So like, I think maybe bricks, I don't know. There's some items that like you could only get in creative and then later they added like the clay that you can craft it from. That kind of thing. Um, and I think like golden or was it golden apples or normal apples were like strictly obtainable earlier than where I have it as, but like it used to be that the only I can't remember if it's apples or golden apples. One of those, the way that you obtained it was by like killing notch. <laughs> and mm-hmm. I was just kinda like that's I mean, first of all, this is single player, at least for now. Um, I guess I could like rename myself to Notch and then die, and then pick it up. But I don't know. I, I, like just, I figured that's apple. like, yeah, probably. It um, feels like golden apple. I don't know why. Let me look it up. Is that why it's called a Notch apple? Oh, probably. But I figure like when they added that. It was probably supposed to be like, oh my god, oh my god, I just walked directly into this lava. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's a shame. <laughs> I like, I thought it was crouching. Oh, they don't have crouching in this version. Okay. It looks like it's actually just normal apples that not drops. However, fun fact, if the Minecraft Reddit is to be trusted, if you rename a a mob to Notch and then kill it, it still drops an apple. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I feel like that would be a very good strat for, like, speedrunning. If you need an apple for speedrunning, I I do not know the extent of Minecraft speedrunning. I mean, in modern Minecraft, like, a tree is probably faster, but... (laughs) That's so Um, true. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you're in a treeless speedrun or something. Right. Or they're um, running out of things. I took all my sticks with me. Okay. So Okay, an important thing to, to remember from now on is that there is no crouching. <laughs> mm. I, I don't know if you saw that, Ethan. I I missed it. I was looking at something else. Oh, uh, there there were like five exposed diamond ore blocks on the other side of a pool of lava. So I was like, oh, I'll just crouch and like build a bridge out of cobblestone, and I walked directly into the lava, and then I died. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> um, but yeah, I figure like. Probably when they added that, like, the idea was for it to just be, like, impossibly hard to get it. Um, what diamonds? 
No. Uh, oh, apples. Apples, yeah. Um, but I think... Uh, I mean, name tags are in dungeons, right? Have they always been in dungeons? Since they uh, added dungeons? Let's see. How many items have you got? Um, I have most of the ones for this version. We're missing a lot of the diamond stuff and a lot of the gold stuff. So Name tags were added in 1.6.1 and they spawn in dungeon chests. However, okay. they can also be acquired by fishing. Okay, but like we're going to get them as drops from leaves before we get name tags. Is what I'm hearing. Oh yeah, definitely. 1.6.1. .1. Okay. Um, right now it's just me playing, but once uh, we get to whenever like multiplayer is like a stable thing, I think we're probably going to make like a private little server so that we can both play. Um, but currently it's just me. And to elaborate on that point, because I, I love elaborating, um, they're not planning on doing the first version that has multiplayer because um, it I believe it doesn't save inventories, if that's right. There's some um, like big change like that or big problem like that. Yeah, so it's it, it's into alpha. I think alpha is when it gets like multiplayer for the first time, but later on in alpha is when like multiplayer is sensible. I'm gonna add a raw pork chop while I'm here. Okay, so yeah, these are the items that I have so far. Um, I think is wooden sword the last one for this version. Yeah. So these are like in alphabetical order. Um, so we've still got like eh, maybe like 30 or 40 blocks to go. But a lot of them are just like all of the diamond tools and all of the gold tools. So once we get like a good amount of um Oh, this one right here, this is the minecart. Yeah. The minecart um has like a really broken texture for some reason. When you place it in the world, it looks fine. But when it's in your inventory, it looks like this. Um, not sure what's up with that, but um, I forgot what I was saying before that. Oh yeah, so maybe like uh, there's probably like forty or fifty items and blocks left to get in this version. Um, but a lot of them are like gold tools and like uh diamond tools. So it's really just like we need a lot of gold and a lot of iron or diamond and then a few other things. I don't think they had stairs yet. I do kind of want to smelt this pork chop. And I guess I'll I'll try to find where those diamonds were again. <laughs> Hopefully some of my stuff survived, although it's probably been more than five minutes by now. Is the five minute uh, constraint consistent? Oh, um, I actually don't know. Let's research. I've, I have made this joke, well, joke in quotation marks before, but you know, in I, I, I haven't really seen the Joe Rogan podcast, and I assume you haven't either, but there's a person that like Joe Rogan every time he like fact checks something he's like that person I forgot their name look that up and oh. I, I feel like that person not not and I, I think that's funny go on except I assume you're actually looking it up <laughs> <laughs> um Let's see the history of despawn.
Yeah, all the items are gone, but oh well. We didn't have. We were only caving for like a couple minutes anyway. This is a lot of diamonds. Nice, 10 diamonds. <laughs> How long do I think it'll take? Um, I have been avoiding thinking about that. Um, I mean, not that it's like, I don't know, it's kind of just for fun. So like, if I were streaming very regularly, probably less than a year. Uh, actually, no, probably a lot less than a year if I were doing it like every day or something. But like at my current rate of streaming, which is once every six months, um, it will probably be a while. I don't know. I'd like to do it in like, um, okay, I'm going to set like a goal of finishing this project within two years from today. If I finish it within two years, then um, I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll make a little like metal for myself. Let's go. You will need a lot of motivation. Yeah. <laughs> but I think like, as so I'm, I am planning to like, uh, w during the updates where you're like able to keep the same world, I want to do that. So, you know, most updates, there's not too many new things. So I think once we get into the like 1.0 and beyond, It'll probably uh, pick up quite a bit, especially because we'll be able to sprint. Mm I'm doing the the thing where you put the torches on the right side of the cave and that way to get out you just keep the torches on your left um yeah so in like the minecraft launcher if you enable um oh, i forget exactly what they call it there's some like somewhere in the settings for the launcher you have to turn on like alpha and beta versions and then once you turn that on in the like version list under installations, I think there's like exactly one imp dev version and it's this one. Oh, so I guess I should clarify. I guess I'm not really doing every version. I'm doing every version that's in the launcher that has survival. Um, but there's somewhere that you have to like enable uh, old versions before it will let you do that. Um, and then I think the wiki has links to like jar files for other older versions, but I'm just sticking to the launcher ones because I guess if it's in the launcher, it's more likely to like uh, actually work smoothly. <laughs> the subversions, yeah, if they if they added anything new, then I am doing that. Um, but like a lot of them are just like little bug fixes that don't have any new blocks. Um, we are getting a lot of iron here, but I haven't seen any gold on this trip. I, yeah, I'm gonna, I, that would take a lot longer if I did that. 
um i think wasn't there one update where they added just like procedurally generated blocks or was it just like dimensions and bios i don't know i i what us and some other friends were talking about this i think last night how it seems like they almost put more effort into the april mm. fools updates than the actual <laughs> updates yeah like i wonder if it's like they spend like a whole year like on it and then they just they just like rebase it to the newest snapshot <laughs> that's my theory um yeah those april Fool's day updates have a lot of work put into them but i mean so do the the real updates like when they did the the cave update that one i'm sure took a lot of work I haven't played with the um the trial chambers yet, any. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm just going in circles now. Oh, do I have obsidian? I guess no, I, I didn't have diamonds yet, even, so. I might try to get this obsidian. Hopefully there's not too much lava under it. Oh, Ethan, can you find out when they added the end? I feel like it was... Okay, my official uh, guess is going to be alpha 1.2. The end? Or sorry, the uh, nether, <laughs> not the end. The end was <laughs> what beta one point nine or one point eight? Yeah. Released. Yeah. Um. The okay. end was added. Yeah, one point zero. Okay. Uh, the but nether. the nether. When was that? Um, it was technically added in Alpha 1.2. Oh, I was right. Uh, apparently, there was a way to theme things in InDev, not even oh, InDev. Yeah, yeah, the like, yes, <laughs> that was like so proto biomes, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, and it was called Hell. <laughs> the The biome is still named Hell. For the Nether, like in the F three menu. Ooh, this This is interesting. Um, in before one point two, Notch mentions the return of the Hell biome and that it can be used for fast travel, based on a transportation method used in the novel series The Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan. Within a dangerous transportation system, the ways people could travel a massive amount of distance in a few days instead of weeks. That's interesting. I never knew that was, like, based on anything that you can fast travel. this obsidian is going to be kind of annoying okay i'll just come back for oh i guess no i only need one piece of obsidian because you can't like do anything with it yet mm -hmm. okay so i won't come back for it <laughs> okay. um although i do want to get a bucket of lava while i'm here Un lava that's Spanish for a lava. Um, sure. Actually, is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, I think it's ungrammatical. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's ungrammatical in English too. So <laughs> that's interesting. If you're if you're trying to translate something that's already ungrammatical, do you have to make it ungrammatical? I think so. 
No, it, it literally is lava in Spanish. Yeah, but if you're 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 saying like a oh, lava. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Oh shoot, um, I'm on the hook for listening to a song. I must do it. How long is this? Three minutes. Acceptable. I'd like to leave this cave now. I want to drop off the stuff I have gotten before I die again. <laughs> Good idea. Will there ever be a Minecraft 2? Um, I don't think so. I mean, honestly, I feel like... Like, if they did make a Minecraft 2, it would have to be, like, a different genre of game. You know? Maybe you could finagle that Bedrock is like a Minecraft 2, but it, mm, the idea somewhere. of a sequel kind of falls apart when a game is like regularly updated. Yeah, so, but I feel like, like, uh, like Risk of Rain, the first version was like a 2D, like, I don't, I don't know what kind of game it was, I've never played it, but it was like a 2D game, and then the second one is like a 3D, like, roguelike, I think, is what I would call it. Um... So, like, I feel like some games, like, you make a sequel and it's, like, a whole different genre of game. Or, like, Fallout between, like, the first couple versions were very different from what I've heard. Um, so, mm -hmm. I, feel like, I feel like they could, if they really... You could argue that, um, is it Minecraft Dungeons? What's the, like, Telltale game? Yeah, I think that's it. You could argue that that's a Minecraft, too. But... I don't know if they would if they would ever make something called Minecraft Two. They would have to be in like dire financial straits, and they're Microsoft, so true. they never will be. <laughs> what is the one in one point twenty four? Um, well, I mean, what's what's the one in like Java one point eight four? You know, <laughs> um, I don't know. I guess like like one point oh is this big like symbolic thing. Um. And they just kind of had to keep it. But it would be interesting if they, like, drop the version numbers. I don't think it will happen. I think the public has, like, semantic version has become widely accepted. Like, people are right. know how it works, even if they're not developers. Mm -hmm. So, I see, no, I see no reason that they would. Like, sometimes for games, they just start versioning it by, like, the date. Mm -hmm. It's just like well, I mean, this that's is what, version uh, March 2024. That's what like Ubuntu does too, doesn't it? I don't think so. No, they they have a very like 24.2, 24.10, 25.2, yeah. 10 They keep it like that. It's it's the um, but it's the year dot the month. Oh, you're so right. I forgot that years and months exist. Um, I go. Um, thanks for joining us, though. It's always fun to have somebody to talk to um yeah i think it's just like they they have a very regular release schedule so it looks very regular in the versioning um and of course infdev i mean that was that's true infdev that was and indev was like our dates I mean. straightforward the date yeah minecraft today <laughs> There you go, gold. Yep, just one though. Oh. But I guess like now that like servers are a thing, they they couldn't do that unless it's just like snapshots. Like they're not gonna update the game every day because then you gotta update your server every day. Right. Um, and I guess yeah, the snapshot the snapshots have kind of like that. It's it's um the year, w, the week of the year like what number week in the year it is and then like a letter that increments um for each release within that week hmm. interesting so like 21 w 14 a was the first snapshot of the 14th week of 2021 um i hope i didn't change those numbers <laughs> halfway through that sentence that'd be a little embarrassing
Uh, okay, I need to make a new pick. Oh no, I don't. I need to make new uh, fortunes. Okay, I'm gonna um, stop picking up this iron. I have enough iron. It'd be kind of fun to do like if you had like a, a super like knowledgeable like ha have the wiki memorized community <laughs> um it could be kind of fun to do like a bracket for like the minecraft updates mm -hmm. to determine which one is truly the best I think for me though like it's kind of like updates before 1.0 and updates after 1.0 are kind of like in different categories to me because it's like there are some updates where it's like oh they added the piston like i said before or they added i don't know fishing <laughs> um mm -hmm. which is a fun change and then there's newer updates where it's like they they made they like 1.14 they redid villages and i just feel like you you can compare like 1.14 to 1.13 maybe you like the village changes better maybe you like the like water changes better but you can't really compare 1.14 or like 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 you can't compare they added swimming to they added hunger <laughs> yeah they're just like too far apart to me apples and oranges type deal yeah or like they added biomes <laughs> versus mm -hmm. they added they changed combat although i guess that's kind of similar because those are both really big changes I don't know. I think we'd have to do like two separate brackets for like favorite, or maybe more than two, like favorite uh, alpha update, favorite beta update, favorite 1.0 through 1.8 update, and then favorite 1.9 to present update. Mm -hmm. Favorite pre and post acquisition update. <laughs> when When did that happen? When was November 2014? I feel like it was huh. a lot later, was later than, than that. that. Yeah, I guess, you know, time flies. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got exactly one gold. I did already have some gold, though. Okay, I'm gonna go put some of this stuff in the place. Eventually, I want to extend this path all the way to the museum over there, but... I haven't gotten around to it just yet. I still do want to do the thing where, like, uh, people vote on. Okay, every, like, once once a week or something, you, like, pick two random blocks, and every instance of one of those blocks on a server will be turned into the other one. So maybe it's, like, the choices between, like, oak logs and dirt, and either every block of dirt gets turned into an oak log, or every oak log gets turned into a block of dirt. And, like, you have, like, the server members vote on which one happens, and you just pick, like, a random pair of items to have the pull between every week i think that would be really fun it would get really like chaotic near the end <laughs> yeah because at, at, after some point something would happen that you know it, it would make the game kind of unplayable right. i'm pretty sure okay obsidian and mushroom oh not mushroom stew this is red mushroom okay, we have obsidian well i could make mushroom stew actually um Okay, uh, red mushroom is, where is red mushroom? It's right after raw pork chop. 
and then a lava bucket, which is after a ladder. And where is ladder? It's over here. And then one singular diamond. Um, and I guess I might as well add in the diamond pick now as well. So I don't need it now that I have the obsidian. Okay. That was a good little trip. We got like five things checked off. Quite epic, I say so myself. Mm -hmm. But it would also be fun, like if anybody, if anybody watching this has any sway with those people that are like, I played Minecraft hardcore for 40 days, but I had this modification. Get one of those people to like have their audience vote on like a block to remove from the game every week. <laughs> um, I want to, I want to watch that happen, <laughs> and I don't have like a community to vote on that myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. Although, who knows, if I keep it up, maybe I will in a year. Oh, does just walking on farmland trap load on this version? I don't hear so. I mean, I guess that makes sense. It's, oh, yeah. It's a, it's a little more realistic. <laughs> the day-night cycles are very drastic in the earlier <laughs> versions of Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we definitely don't have beds yet, do we? No, beds are, I think not until beta. Yeah, no, we, we've talked about beds before, but I, I'm i going to guess beta 1.3. Let me Minecraft.wiki. Let's see. History. So your guess is beta 1.3? Yes. That's crazy. Beta 1.3. Let's go. <laughs> Slowly building up a knowledge of the game that I'm playing. <laughs> Crazy how that works. <laughs> um, I guess I could go ahead and do some more caving. Um, although I think I've pretty much exhausted that cave I was in. So I have to find a new one and that means I have to like travel across the surface. Mm -hmm. um, I want to build like a mushroom farm at some point. And start using that for food, maybe. Okay, let me look through the list of blocks and see which ones I can make now. Okay, I can make a block of gold and a block of iron. And then a bow I cannot make yet. I can make a couple of these diamond tools. Although I do need some wood for that. Okay, I'll come back to the diamond tools. Could make some gold tools, but I think I'll come back to that as well. Gunpowder. Okay, they had, I think we've probably had this discussion before, but they did have creepers that you could get gunpowder from in this version, right? Let's check with the authorities. Sulfur. It was called sulfur back then. Oh, interesting. Um, and it in oh, what version of Infodev are you on? We're in twenty ten oh six eighteen. Okay, in this version, mm -hmm. creepers can drop it. Okay. Um, in twenty ten oh six twenty five, they're no longer dropped by creepers and can <laughs> only be found in. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. That does not say only. Um, okay, yes. So creepers do drop it. My bad. Okay. <laughs> I uh, am illiterate. That's okay. Okay, so I'm going to make mushroom stew and a block of gold and a block of iron. And then with the six 
wool, I can make a leather tunic. Um, we've talked about this before. Oh, wait, no, I need aid for that. We've talked about this before, but um, you made uh, leather armor out of wool in this version. And they're actually, I don't think there was leather yet. At least it's not on the list yet. Um, did they add that in when they added in cows? Although, no, because you didn't make... When did they add cows? Check that, Ethan. <laughs> Look that up. <laughs> I'll check it. What's, I, I need to get... Oh, what's, what's, what's the guy's name from Joe Rogan? I need to get that. Oh, Mushroom uh, Stew isn't shapeless? That's weird. Cows were added in Alpha 1.0.8. Okay, so not, not too long from now. And then I guess that's probably when they added leather, and that's probably when they changed the recipe from wool to leather. Jamie. That's the other guy in Joe Rogan. Who? Jamie? Yeah, there's like, a, he says like almost every time, like, look that up, Jamie, pull that up whenever <laughs> they're talking about something. And there's a guy in the background who's always like, I, I I was I was gonna say fact checking, but like it's Joe Rogan, so they're like it's... obviously not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? He's just like going to Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny though. So it is still night time. I bet I could make it to the museum though. And then take shelter in there. I like the old uh, sky, the old stars. Mm hmm. Very nostalgic. When did they change that? Check that, Ethan. <laughs> Look that up. Oh my god. <laughs> Jamie, pull that up. Uh, sky. Um. Start. What's up? It looks like it was changed in 1.3.1. 1. Okay. So Stars are now slightly smaller and brighter. They added beds, and then they messed up the stars. <laughs> you can finally sleep and like look up at the stars, but now they're worse. Hate it here. Interesting. Let's see. Stone slab is going to be just before sick. And then wheat and wheat seeds. Okay, cool. So that's a good amount of stuff. So I'll just read off what we have left. We have white wool. We have TNT. We have sign. We could get sign pretty easily. Um, rose. Somehow I haven't found a rose yet. Gunpowder. The gold tools and armor. The diamond tools and armor. Bow and block of diamond. Cool. And white wool. So every sheep is a white sheep. Yes. And every sheep drops gray wool. Is it light gray? I think it's light gray. Um, and not white wool. Um, but you can get white wool from four string. Mm. So we need string for the white wool and for the bow. And then, of course, we need gunpowder. And rose and sign. Those are the only above ground things left. Oh, we need gunpowder for the TNT also. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I guess while it's nighttime. Oh, I don't have any armor. <laughs> I was gonna say I might as well try to find some creepers and spiders, but maybe without armor, that's not the best idea. Though so actually, I don't see any mobs outside right now. Kind of weird. like so i was telling you before we started streaming that your like keyboard was very audible yes um my like mouse and keyboard are probably pretty audible on the stream because i have that that noise suppression on discord but of course that oh, but not on the flight of the stream <laughs> that's yeah but i will say away i and i'm I guessing add... you have not been hearing it yeah i haven't been hearing anything so that noise Amen. suppression work that noise suppression works like really well it's kind of surprising mm -hmm. Um, I guess it's like AI powered, probably. Uh, yeah, that and it still works. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I, I understand people like use AI in a lot of situations where it's kind of silly too. But AI works really well for that stuff mm -hmm. because it like it is kind of a subjective thing. Like, what's what is the you know the clicking? What is a sound? And AI is really good at like figuring out like right. which of the two are. Yeah, it, that is, that's a pretty good use for it. Um, in OBS, I have, like, it's I, I think it's just, like, a, like a noise gate. Um, and that actually, like, that makes it so that you can't hear, like, my fan. Um, like, I, I don't, I, I think it must be a little more than a noise gate, because, like, even when I'm talking, there is, like, zero fan sound. Um, it but could just is... be that um, when you talk... But like a certain volume, it kind of like cuts out the fan sound. Like it's your your voice just masks it. Oh, that could be it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, there's like zero fan sound, but it it does nothing about the um the clicking. <laughs> yeah. I did actually turn off my like window AC unit today. I just have like the ceiling fan going. And I think it's like 85 out, but it's like perfectly fine inside. Let's go. Save an energy. True. I mean I my utilities are included in my rent, so oh, well, it doesn't oh, really well. matter, but <clears throat> Sometimes the noise drives me a little crazy, though. <clears throat> um, but it is always kind of weird when, like, you turn it off and then you can hear the fridge and you're like, oh yeah, fridges make sounds. <laughs> um, okay, I'm entirely out of wood. I don't want to cut down these trees right in front of my house because I like them as like decoration, but these ones up on this hill. Yeah, I'm gonna cut down. You uh cook any interesting meals recently, Ethan? I cooked myself a Tuscan kale chicken, some chicken breast, some lemon. Uh, spaghetti, kale, mix it all up in a pan. It was pretty tasty, and I had leftovers for like three days from it. Oh, nice. So that was very, very well use of ingredients. Mm -hmm. I like I like to spill ingredients like where, where is Twitch chat. 
That's my favorite way to spell that word. Oh, ingredients. <laughs> ingredients. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's it. I haven't cooked. I think tonight, me and my girlfriend are gonna make a chicken cotta. Nice. We just have a lot of chicken right now. We're gonna cook as much of it as we can, as quickly as we can, because obviously chicken, when it goes bad, is quite dangerous. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, ricotta, that's kind of cheese, right? No, piccata. Sorry. Oh, piccata, okay. Yeah, say, ricotta I, I is a kind a of cheese. <laughs> what is, uh, piccata? Piccata is, per Wikipedia, um, an Italian dish of thin pan-fried flour-dredged meat in a sauce of lemon juice, butter, parsley, and often capers. We're not putting on the capers. Um, so it's almost like chicken parmesan, but you just don't go all the way. Interesting. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. It, it more heavily on the lemon. And not with like the marinara and spaghetti mm -hmm. and cheese. I'm a big spaghetti fan. Spaghetti's good. I I really like I I I very much enjoy like we, we don't do HelloFresh anymore, but HelloFresh had a lot of meats that were like make this machine and then you have a bunch of spaghetti on the side and it's like I I always chow those down those are scrumptious <laughs> big fan of spaghetti as a side let's go there is a specific way because i noticed there are like strategic gaps in the chest there's a way you're organizing this stuff right oh yeah it's just it's alphabetical oh okay although apparently uh gunpowder was called sulfur so <laughs> that one's in the mm. wrong place oops but <laughs> Let me go ahead and make some iron armor here. <laughs> Did that very inefficiently. I'm not speedrunning this. I do. I saw a video recently that was like. It was called Getting Killed by a Villager Speedrun. And basically, like, the strat is you find a village, you put you put thorns on some armor, um, and then you, like, use a dispenser to put the armor onto the villager, and then you get yourself down to half a heart, and you punch the villager, and then the thorns kill you. And in the chat, it says that you were killed by the villager. Oh, that's really funny. Um, but the guy, I, I, I saw the one video and like, it was obviously like kind of a joke. Mm -hmm. Um, and he was doing it very like unoptimally, well, not very unoptimally, but like, like his, his, his routing was really good, but his like, uh, what's it called? Um, like his particular run wasn't super optimal with that mm -hmm. route. Uh, I think you could do better. I think I could do better. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, uh, do I want to do better? <laughs> and, I, think be I, mean, this was, I think this was either 2019 or start of 2020, but um, myself and my roommate back then, um, for whatever reason, decided um, that he would go for the world. Do you remember that KFC visual novel? No. Okay, for whatever reason, KFC, the, the, the chicken fast food chain, right. published a visual novel where you, like, romance... The Colonel? Colonel Sanders. Okay. Um, for whatever reason. It's anime-themed, it's, it's mm -hmm. bizarre. I feel like um, I've seen screenshots of that, but I, I didn't realize it was, like, an official piece of media. I yeah, thought it was no, just, it's, like, a it's fan official. Movie. No, um... And we decided, for whatever reason, that uh, my roommate was going to go and get the world record for the fastest run of it. Mm -hmm. um, 
and realistically that just involved us like because there is an ice cream truck outside my apartment Oh yeah, where I lived um, Hold last on. summer, that I... happened to me occasionally. <laughs> my my girlfriend just asked me if we can get some. I I think <laughs> we might. I'll be back. Yeah, go in ahead. A moment. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. The ice cream truck. <laughs> You're never too old to get some ice cream from an ice cream truck. Um. Okay, so let me run through the plan here. We have this line already. Next time it's nighttime, we're going to get some TNT and some, not some TNT, some gunpowder and some string, um, which we need for white wool and string and TNT and gunpowder. And then I guess we'll run around on the surface for a while, try to find a rose. And then the rest of it is just gold stuff and diamond stuff. So that's going to be a lot of caving. Oh, and bow. We need string for bow as well. Um... That's pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think we might be able to finish this within the next couple of streams. This version, not the whole thing. I am a little surprised that we don't already have a rose. But, you know. It happens. Um, I think, I mean, I'm thinking roses naturally generate. I feel like we probably checked that because I was probably worried about it in the past. And Ethan, my resident fact checker, probably checked it for us. I return for just a quick moment. Unfortunately for however, what viewers there are on Twitch, the way our apartment works, there's like a, a road that kind of goes perpendicular, parallel to the apartment. Um, And then there's like a gate, and then there's another road immediately behind the gate. Um, ice cream truck is on the road behind the gate. Um, we cannot access ice cream. Um, Very I'm sad. just gonna fix myself a sandwich really quick. All right. Um, so I'll be back in a, a moment or two. So Sounds it's good. very very sad day for um the location of Oracle with him. <laughs> very sad indeed. Feels like we've been cheated. Um. Okay, so now that it's nighttime, we can look for some creepers and spiders. Um, okay. I think it probably shouldn't be too hard to find some. Oh, there's a rose. Perfect. So we do have roses, confirmed. I'm guessing they didn't have dye, right? Yeah, okay. I didn't think they did, but wanted to make sure. Not seeing any mobs just yet. A good cave, I'll have to remember this one. Oh, I also need to not get lost tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back toward the home so that I don't get lost. Although realistically all we'll lose is some iron and some food, but still. Okay, I'm gonna put down a path of torches so I know how to get back here for that cave. Very unoptimal spider fight. <laughs> I guess there's probably ways you can do that where you're like just out of range. I don't know. I'm I'm better at the newer combat than the older combat. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the the newer combat, but I like that you have like you have to think about like the like rhythm of the fight, if that makes sense. There's a little more art to it. Um, hopefully we can find some more mobs here.
it's kind of funny when the mobs uh like spawn in in this version you'll just see like a clump of like pigs or sheep or whatever just like up here like in front of you <laughs> like a, a block or so off the ground and then they fall and like scatter out but it is kind of funny when they just like up here <laughs> all of a sudden there's like a small sprinkling of pigs oops Although it's a little less fun when all of a sudden there's a small sprinkling of creepers right in front of you. So right now, I'd rather that than no creepers at all. Hmm. Not seeing any. Another cave, I'll remember this one. I think this is probably, yeah. Where are all the mobs? I don't see any at all. I wonder, I mean, the mob cap must be, like, higher now than it used to be. Or maybe they're all, like, underground or something. I don't know. I have no idea how, <laughs> how mob spawning works now, nor how it worked back then. I guess I have a little bit of an idea how it works now. Like, I know that there is a mob cap, and so when you, like, light up, caves you know you get more mobs on the surface but i don't know too much about how it works like, i think there's rules for like they can only spawn like a certain distance from you like it has to be more than something and less than something else but i really have no earthly idea what those numbers are hmm. well i tell you what i'm gonna um Get some water actually, so I'll be back in probably five minutes or so.
always very important to stay hydrated, of course. All right, let's get back into it. Okay, so we just need to find some creepers and some spiders. And those are neither creepers nor spiders over there, so I'm just going to ignore them and hope that they don't see me. I don't know what the best strategy is for this. Like, if I'm just standing up here, <clears throat> am I going to run into... Um, like, are they just going to start spawning out here, or do I need to be moving around for that to happen? I really don't know. But the night is like three quarters of the way over, and we haven't seen... Well, no, we did see some spiders earlier. It's not true. But we haven't seen a single uh, creeper still. Which is a little bit, you know, disappointing. But we'll, we'll have more nights. I guess we'll, we'll stay up here for the rest of the night and see if we see any. And if we don't, or yeah, well, I guess either way, when it's daytime, I'll probably do some more caving. Try to find some gold and some diamonds. Which should be good. Because now we have the rose. I will, I will go put the rose down there while I'm over here. How many string do we get? Is that a three? I think that's a three. So that's enough to make a bow. Okay, so I'll make a bow real quick, and I always do that wrong. Here's our bow. And then our rose, which goes after the red mushroom. Okay. Cool. Oh, there's a creeper. Awesome. I hope it drops. I feel like we've, we've run into creepers before, and they just haven't, like, dropped any gunpowder for us yet. Oh, that was not what I wanted to happen. And that one didn't drop anything. Oh, cool. We got two gunpowder. Awesome. Let me fill this hole in. At least part of the way. Okay. Don't see any more creepers around. Put the gunpowder in here. Let's see. Gunpowder goes after gravel. So right here. And then we need, um, I believe it's five gunpowder and four sand for TNT. So we'll keep this one out. It'll be fun in the later versions to start building, like, farms and stuff. Um, I mean, currently we really don't need any farms. I don't think. I mean, I guess it would be nice to have, like, a mob farm. <laughs> uh, which is I probably about the only kind of farm you can really make in this version. Um, but, you know, we don't need it that bad. We just need um, four more string and four more gunpowder for now. Um, so I think we're ready to start caving. I'm going to make a couple more pickaxes. Just so it'll be a little longer until we need to make more. And I'll make some more torches too. Okay, 
So I'm going to go to the cave that was over here. Oh, and I keep forgetting to switch. Okay, I have um, the like stream manager thing um, on my other monitor. And I also have like the big spreadsheet on the same monitor. And I switched to the spreadsheet so I can like update it when I get a new thing. And then I forget to um, switch back to the stream preview. So that's why I keep like pausing the game for a second. <laughs> okay, I believe it was over here. Was it? I don't see any torches though. Oh no, there, there they are. Not sure exactly how many we need. Gold and diamonds. Um, diamonds, we still need to make the block. So maybe like uh, 40 to 50. I want to say. Okay. And then gold, we already have the block and we already have some amount of ingots. So don't need nearly as much of that as we need diamonds. And we do have some diamonds already. I think, what do we have? Like, uh, like four or so, I want to say. But I guess we'll just get as many as we can because I we're probably not going to get all of them on this caving trip anyway. Oh, and that was a very small cave. It's a little bit disappointing. <laughs> oh well, we'll find more caves. Um, there was one on this hillside, I think, on this cliff. Is this one? Mm, not really. sheep we love our sheep friends um it is a little strange how the white sheep drop light gray wool in this version i wonder why they chose to do that don't oh this was not a cave okay that's a cave maybe or maybe it was just a a coal deposit And this doesn't go anywhere either. I don't know if I've been over this way yet. You look like a cave. Although it could be one of those really short ones that just like comes out the other side of the mountain. Oh no, cool. It looks like it does go down. Great. Another red mushroom. I'm going to pick that up. Accelerate our mushroom farm if we make one. And oh, I didn't bring any coal with me. So I should get some of this. I think I turned all the coal into torches. That's probably what happened. I've been down there already. Okay, I've already been through here. There's a new cave. Put down some torches so I know where to go when I come out of it. 
Oh, I've been down here too. Okay. Well, how about over here? I think I've been through all of these. Okay, well, that's all right. Let's go this way. I wonder if there's any caves on that little uh, formation, <laughs> island maybe you could call it. Oh, are you a cave? No, not really. Good. We can see the museum from here. Oh, it's interesting how dark it is under here. Wasn't really expecting that. Cave. <laughs> We're looking for a cave. I guess we could always just do like, you know, strip mining for a cave, but I feel like that's less exciting to watch. Mm -hmm. We don't have boats yet, which is too bad. I guess it would be cool to build a little bridge across this, but I don't expect to be in this world for too much longer anyway. Although it is going to be more than one caving trip, so maybe I should build a little bridge. Just to get between here and the museum easier. I am placing torches every now and then. As like breadcrumbs so that I can find my way back. A nice little mountain. Reminds me a little bit of packed up PNG. Although of course that was the trees weren't this color. <laughs> I don't think so anyway. I think it's newer than that. I don't know when did they change this? Did they keep this color all the way until biomes? We don't have our fact checker here anymore. <laughs> have to ask him when he gets back. Yeah. Oh hey you're back. <laughs> What up? Um, so I have a fact for you to check. Okay. Uh, when did they change? Th so see how these trees are like this bright green and the grass? Yes. Did they change that when they added biomes or did they change it before then? Let's see. Yes, it was. With the addition of biomes, the color of leaves have been changed. Okay. I keep finding a bunch of, like, empty caves. Or, like, quick dead ends. Now it's getting dark out again anyway. So we need four, um, four more gunpowder. I, I, I did find some spiders and some creepers. But we need four more gunpowder for um to make TNT and four more string for the white wool. And then we need the uh diamond and gold tools and armor and the block of diamond. And I think that is everything. Oh wow. So finishing inf dev is doable? Yeah, I mean probably not this stream. Just because we need a lot of diamonds. 
Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm right now I'm, I'm venturing around looking for new caves and I'm leaving like a, a trail of torches <laughs> to hopefully help me to find my way back. Oh, there's a spider. Back here. There's one more string. What kind of sandwich did he make? Um, turkey sandwich. Okay. Oh, creeper. Simple. Classic. Didn't drop anything. A lot of the creepers aren't dropping anything. I think I've only gotten one gunpowder during this whole project. Oh, that one blew up. Oh no. And then so does another one. Uh, okay. It seems like the mobs, do they always spawn in packs of three? Um, let's see. History. Oh, no. I don't like those. Mobs oh, are shown to spawn in groups. So oh, but it doesn't say like how many. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'm getting hit a lot by these guys. Skeletons are like the worst mob in this version. That is so true. In general, honestly. Never been a fan. Just ran into like six skeletons and I used all of the pork chops that I brought with me. Um, there was a cave over here, wasn't there? Yeah. Okay, new cave. We're gonna find so many gold ore blocks and so many diamond ore blocks. Oh, okay. And that didn't go anywhere either. <laughs> Not a lot of good caves lately. Okay, I don't want to wander too far from the house, so I'm going to go back and try a different direction. <laughs> Spider didn't drop anything. I'm thinking I probably want to um, stop streaming by like six o'clock or so. Mm -hmm. So another hour and a half. Um, so yeah, I don't think we'll, we'll we definitely won't finish the this version um, by the end of the stream. But I think we've made some good progress in this stream. For sure. Uh, I mean, some of those were just like easy things that I hadn't really gotten around to making, but feels a lot more manageable now. Um, okay. I wish they had boats. I was thinking about building like a bridge over here if I wanted to, if I found a good cave over here and I wanted to keep coming back to it, but I guess I didn't go that way any. I don't know. I, <laughs> I, I kind of, maybe this is a little like, um, not in good spirits, but I kind of want to like get this version over with. <laughs> um, I mean, I, 
it, it's different and it's 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 very bare bones right so i don't i don't like you want to get to the fun stuff yeah and like, it's not that like this version fun, isn't fun yeah. but it this is inf dev like this is <laughs> very you know early development mm -hmm. I want sounds. <laughs> it just it feels so cold without the sounds. Mm -hmm. I keep thinking of seeing like underwater caves, but I guess they didn't really have underwater caves anyway. Although there were probably caves that like came out underwater and they were just like normal unflooded caves. Yeah. So we didn't get anything new on that trip, but It is also kind of fun to see like how people used to build and like I guess part of it is just like Minecraft has been around long enough that like like style <laughs> is a thing that like changes like things go in and out of style. Mm -hmm. um, but also I guess like the limited block palette kind of made people build different sorts of builds which is interesting. Right. Like I know like early Good. on there were a lot more like castle types of things. Because that's Which, what looked good with the color palette. Yeah. Well, that, and I guess there was also, I feel like older Minecraft had more of, like, an RPG kind of vibe to it. Just, like, with, with like, what the, what the mobs are. And, like, uh. I don't know, there's, like, there's, like, screenshots from really early development where, I don't think it was functional at all, but, like, in the inventory there were, like, stats. Or, like, placeholders for stats. Um... I don't know. I feel like in another universe, Minecraft turned into like an RPG. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should make a mushroom farm. Although we don't have any, um, we don't have like pistons and stuff, so I guess a mushroom farm is just a couple of mushrooms on the ground. <laughs> Can you check actually? Now I'm like doubting everything. Did 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 mushrooms always spread or did they like add that at some point? Mushroom, let's see here. Uh spread. Um Mushrooms did not spread until beta 1.6. Oh, okay, cool. Like. So I can't make a mushroom farm. <laughs> I was thinking that would be a good source of, like, food. But I guess not. That's interesting. I really thought that they always did. At least we have our little wheat farm. I'm gonna go further this way. See if I can find a cave. And if I can't find a cave, we can just go back to our strip mine. I just feel like it's it's more fun to watch like exploring the surface than strip mining. If I had to pick one or the other. Mm-hmm. I mean mining is kind of boring. 
it's it's mind numbing for me personally. <laughs> That's why I like to do it. I mean, you know that I I can clear out chunks, mm -hmm. but I'm typically like mentally elsewhere while doing right. that, like talking to people or listening to music or whatnot. Yeah, put on like uh uh Sublaki. <laughs> yeah, something like, like that. Well, that'll be great then once we get to multiplayer you can do all the caving <laughs> yeah. just got a text oh okay i cvs like has my number in their records for somebody else oh yeah you told me about this <laughs> and i mean like realistically maybe i could just like call them and be like uh Got the wrong number stop but i i don't know i only i only get a text like once every <laughs> like month and so it never like bothers me enough mm -hmm. There's all of our food. I think that might be the f first time during this series that I've like run into a mob underground. There's a lot fewer mobs than there are now. Oh, this Low visual cool. artifacting. What's up? Uh, the when you turned around and like it was all white for a second. Oh no, that's just like the chunks loading. Yeah. <clears throat> I got kind of excited. I thought we were going to get a bunch of diamonds down here. But... Yeah. Probably kind of hard to see in the darker areas on the stream, isn't it? Yeah, it does get a little difficult to see. I'm trying to place these torches, like, close enough. Hopefully it's not too bad. What is this? Surface? Yes. Interesting. Oh, I'm out of coal and I'm out of wood. Well then, I guess it's time to go up. Oops. Hope to come back to this cave though, because I think we haven't explored it fully. Where are we? I think we want to go this way. Yes, okay. Maybe? We need to get on top of a hill. Now I'm, like, afraid of getting lost. <laughs> What's over here? Yeah, I remember this, I think. Eventually, too, like, there's so little variation in this version that, like, 
you see a hill and it's not like oh i know that hill it's just this is a hill <laughs> mm -hmm. this is one of those weird mountains that they have in minecraft versus one of those. at this mountain i turned left and then i walked in for blocks oh yeah this i mean i guess you get there. used to it at any rate regardless mm -hmm. but there's just like there's a lot less variation in this version mm -hmm. i feel like Oh, we're like completely out of coal. Okay, I kept seeing coal and being like, we have plenty of coal, I'm not gonna mind that. But now we have none. Uh, I'm gonna smell this pork chop. Oh, my armor is, like, really breaking, too. I wonder if armor breaks faster. Or maybe it's just because I'm using iron stuff and not diamond stuff. True. I'm going back to the strip mine. I, the old cobblestone texture like has such a different vibe to it i like the old cobblestone i i need to get a texture pack that's like um old minecraft textures I yeah think. not not programmer but like pre-programmer yeah it's, it's, it just like sometimes like i'm playing it and i'm like it just had such a different vibe and then i'm like well how much of that is the no hunger and how much of that is the cobblestone has the contrast all the way up <laughs> <laughs> Very confusing thing. I am also working on like a small personal project, mm -hmm. um, and I wanted to get a cowbell sound effect, like just sure. a single shot of a cowbell. So I went like cowbell sound effects, and I went to like this audio website or whatever. Um, and there were a bunch. None of them were what I wanted, but one of them was two seconds long, and it was marked as adult content, okay. and it like would not let me view it. And I am so curious to what would constitute a two-second thing titled Cowbell to be explicit. Uh, I don't know. Um, I, I can't even begin to think of what that would be. I don't know. Yeah. You could make like a like a cards against humanity type of like party game out of like 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 pick up two like you have like a card that has like an adjective and a card that has like a noun and you pick up one of each and then you have like 30 seconds to think of like the funniest explanation for why that would be marked explicit <laughs> No, 
Nobody steal my idea. <laughs> Actually, do steal it. I'm not going to use it. I was hoping we got some coal down here, but not just yet. Helps when you can actually reach it. I so OBS is like just enough of a load where like when the fans are on on my graphics card, it's like cooler than it thinks it needs to be. But when the fans are off, it like needs to be cooled. Hmm. So every like five seconds, the fans are toggling on my graphics card. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it on the stream. Um, um, I can't hear it. I, I unmuted the stream and I couldn't hear it. It's like every like, actually it's probably faster than five seconds. It might be every like three seconds <laughs> that they turn on and then like spin down. I don't know. I've read online because it kind of annoyed me. Um, I don't know what I was playing. I was playing something that was a more intensive game than Minecraft. It might have been KSP two, and it was doing that. Um, I'm don't get me started on KSP two. I have a lot of thoughts about that. Um, but what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, uh, I looked online a little bit, and I was like, maybe this is just like a Linux driver problem, and like apparently there are ways like in the linux driver you can like uh i i never realized i always thought like the fans were just like like the the, the the like gpu knows what temperature it is and knows what temperature it needs to be you know and and so the fans are just controlled like in hardware but apparently it's all like controlled by like a driver so like you there's like a config file where you can just set like yeah when it gets above this temperature turn the fans on and when it gets below this temperature turn the fans off um yeah you can you can just turn off the fans yeah which is really wacky <laughs> um, the very good way to take down a server oh yeah <laughs> if you had root access just get you know uh whatever it's called elevate privileges and right. at the root kernel level disable the fans yeah. i mean vps is financial damage vpss are usually like in um in like under some kind of hypervisor oh yeah of course um, but if you manage to get around that somehow right. <laughs> that is kind of funny though uh but yeah, so I guess like when it does this, it indicates that like the turn off when it's below this temperature is too close to the turn on when it's above this temperature. Mm -hmm. Um and you just need to like move them further apart. Um but I don't know, I don't care enough and I'm afraid to touch that file. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't like under normal load. Like, if I'm playing CS2, the fans are just, like, always on. And if I'm playing Minecraft, they're just always off. But if I'm streaming Minecraft, it's, like, just the perfect amount of load. <laughs> they didn't have charcoal yet, I don't think. Did they have charcoal? Oh, uh, let's see. Charcoal was added in beta 1.2. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to turn a lot of this cobblestone into stone slabs. 
Oh, or no, you need it like you need to smelt it to do that, don't you? Oh no, you don't. Awesome. Um, because I noticed in that mine I have it going down every time it goes over by two, so I think I probably wanted to do this. Like, have it be slabs. Yeah. Miss shift clicking. I believe I do have some iron in here. Yeah. What's a, a music related hot take that you have? What is a music related hot take? Um. I, I guess this is, I don't know, this this is a, not a hot take for many people, but for people who are serious about music, it is. Um, I know you're not the biggest Pink Floyd fan, um, but the, it very much people who, who, who consider themselves to be more hip do not like the uh, opinion that Dark Side of the Moon is their best album. Um, of which it's like I am the that. normie album to like. Yeah, they're like, oh, this is the normie album. You know, they have much more interesting, you know, better records. Um, because like a lot of their stuff is quite different from that. So, mm -hmm. um, but I am of the opinion that Dark Side of the Moon is Pink Floyd's best album. Um, because a lot of people say like, oh, Animals is their best album, or Wish You Were Here. Like on rate your music, wish you were here is far above and um dark side of the moon. Like many people say, that's their best album, and I disagree. It's kind of interesting too on rate your music. Like I don't know how much built to spill you've listened to. Uh, I know I need to go. Well, the average for um, uh, perfect from now on is higher than the average for keep it like a secret. And I think I like Perfect From Now On more than Keep It Like A Secret, but I feel like I would expect most people to like Keep It Like A Secret more than Perfect From Now On. Or not most people, but like I would expect the average, if you had like an average person listen to um, both of them, they would probably like Keep It Like A Secret more. But mm -hmm. I guess I, I should consider that the people who are rating stuff on Rate Your Music are like, not snobs, but like snob adjacent. Not adjacent. <laughs> That's not entirely false. <laughs> yeah. that we find some coal down here soon. I know I've passed up a lot of coal in a lot of caves, so I could just go back to like a cave and probably find some coal, but mm -hmm. I don't know, I think I've had my share of caving for today. <laughs> Oh, I finally listened to um, Fantastic Planet the other day. Mm, is that a... That's a Elton John album, right? Uh, well, the one I'm referring to is a Failure album. Oh, okay. Um, it's it's largely... 
Okay. Um, it's been compared to like Nirvana. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I can definitely see some similarities and probably some influence from Nirvana to them. Um, and but I'd say like it's largely like I don't know. It's it kind of changes across the album. Like I feel like they have like a few songs. Like the first three songs are like very grungy. And then they switch into like another genre and then another one. And like there's a good amount of space rock as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I think it's it's a good album overall, but it's also like really long. And some of the some of the songs are just like kinda I don't want to say generic, but like very formulaic grunge. They don't contribute to the album. Yeah, it's just like there's a lot of like filler and like the grunge parts. But Mm -hmm. um, there is a lot of like I like um, I don't they they do the thing that like a lot of artists are afraid to do where like they use chords or arpeggios that have like tritones in them, Mm -hmm. um, like often in some of the songs, um, which can give it a cool kind of a sound. But a lot of people are like, tritone sounds like you played it wrong, and it's like, well, yeah, but if you do it every four measures, it doesn't. Well, as Adam Neely said, repetition legitimizes. True. I don't know. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on it, though, once you listen to it. Sure, I do need to listen to it. Uh, there are a few things you've recommended me that I need to listen to. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see if this project um I bet I'm going to like crash my computer but either that or like it's about to make exporting some audio. No, I'm using JavaScript to generate audio. Oh, interesting. So, even scarier. I did a a project once where I tried to like make my own like synthesizers and like effects and stuff and like C++ just exporting to WAV. And it was kind of neat, although I got to a point where I was kind of like, um, this would be a lot more fun if I like, if I could do it faster. (laughs) Uh Um, but I kind of want to go back to that at some point because it was, it was a fun little project. Because it's like you have an idea and then you spend like 10 minutes implementing it and debugging it and then you forget what the rest of the idea was. (laughs) Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, create buffer, at least three arguments required, but only two passed. Oh, you need to know the sample rate. I see. Let's try that again. When the like brightness gets low enough, this dirt kind of looks like andesite. I mean, it's like a, a reddish tint. Once it gets dark enough, anything looks like anything. Well, yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, Ethan. Yes. I learned a fact recently from... Real? Well, I, I guess... Uh, I never took graph theory. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, and I had somebody ask me, like, a graph theory question as, like, a... a I don't know. I was I was hanging out with some other uh, nerds and somebody. Uh, we were like I guess like a lot of the other people are like just starting to take classes where they learn what like an axiom is and stuff, mm -hmm. and like really do proofs more formally. And so um, somebody was like, "Well, well, here's a real head scratcher. Um, consider the following graph. So the nodes can be described as." like infinite sequences of ones and zeros mm -hmm. with with no requirements that they have like a constant tail or anything like that um and you are connected if you differ in exactly one coordinate okay um how many connected components does this graph have That sounds like a. Okay, I'm sorry. Describe that one more time. That sounds very familiar. Okay, so you have, like, members essentially of two to the blackboard n. Okay. Are your nodes, and there's right. an edge between a pair of nodes if they differ in exactly one coordinate. Okay. And how many connected components does this graph have? Sheesh. Um, so there are many nodes. There are what? There are uncountably many nodes? Yeah, there are continuum many nodes. I'm going to say the whole thing is connected. See, that's what I thought, right? But apparently, um, when you define connected component on an infinite graph, um, two nodes are in the same connected component if there is a path between them of finite length. Which doesn't make a lot of that's sense to me, because, like, Consider the one where the nodes are members of Blackboard Z, and you, you have an edge if you're off by exactly one. Right? Being like yeah. having a finite length path between you is not an equivalence relation in that graph. Right? Right. Well, um, no, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Huh. But then again, there's there's only a, like it's a it's a single integer. It's not infinite. It's not countably many integers. Yeah. Um. It's an interesting question. Uh, apparently the answer is not one, but I'm not sure exactly what the cardinality is. Um. So I guess uh, homework for all the the stream viewers. Uh, homework for the two stream viewers of which I am one. <laughs> I think I'm the other one. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, figure out how many connected components that graph has. Um I guess so is in general yeah, I guess having a finite length path isn't always an equivalence relation because you just you just concatenate the two paths. Okay. I don't know why I was thinking. I was thinking like consider the whole graph at once, it's not finite length. Um but yeah, that's not how that works. Okay. Um I don't know. I'm not really sure what the answer is. Can you have an uncountable connected, like, is, like, not just in that graph, but just in general, is it possible to have a single connected component that has uncountably many nodes? 
Well, there would need to be a finite length path between every single node. Right. Oh, um, wait, no, it's it's completely possible. Just say, um, make a star graph. Oh, yeah, That's sure. That's uncountable. Duh. Okay. Um, okay. I guess something that'll be helpful is that this graph is like any um, bijection on this graph is an isomorphism. That's not true. Never mind. I lied. Every node like looks the same though. Like there exists an isomorphism on this graph that takes any node to any other node. Right. Maybe. I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. Like any, like zero and one are just like symbols, right? So yeah. just like take your favorite pair of nodes and in the ith coordinate change, like if they're the same in the ith coordinate, your isomorphism like does nothing to that coordinate and otherwise it swaps that coordinate. Oh, so there's, there is a permutation of the coordinates in some way that like can swap nodes inter well yeah i mean that i feel like that's kind of trivial though oh well, yeah but I, i'm saying like maybe i'm trying to think of how you would make this argument of like how many connected components there are so i'm like every anything that we can say about one single node we can say about all of the nodes right yeah so like every node has a uh, countably infinite degree for one thing. Yes, because for every single L I would I'm just gonna call it a sequence. For every single index in the sequence, it is connected to weight. No. Count of bet yeah, for every single index is only connected to one node. Uh yeah, yeah. It's you you swap the bit in that node. Or the the bit at that index, and you can do that for yeah. all of the countably infinitely many indices. Um, does that help us at all? <laughs> well, okay. Um, so the sequence that has is strictly zero, and the sequence sequence that is strictly one, I guess they would not be part yeah. of the same. Component because that there is, is no mm -hmm. finite length path between them because they have strictly countably infinite any differences. Yeah. So... And I feel like if the number of connected components is at least two, then it's probably infinite. And it can't be any more than continuum because there's only continuum nodes. So um, it's. Okay, well. Yeah. So that narrows it down some. Um, and I think I think it's pro we could, we can probably find a concrete answer. It's, it probably doesn't depend on like continual hypothesis or anything. No. Um. Okay. So we need to find like an equivalent because this is realistically finding an equivalence relation on this. Um, uh, yeah, so being, being like in the same connected component is, oh yeah, I guess we can think of, okay, yeah. So every connected component should be of the same size, the same cardinality. Um, so we just need yes, to find, we just need to pick our favorite node to say the constant zero one and figure out how big its connected component is. And you're in the same connected component as zero if you are zero in cofinitely many indices. So equivalently, we can just say, we could just take the sequences that are eventually constant zero. How many of those are there? So we, we consider... There are just countably have, many of those. Yeah, exactly. Um, right, because it's a countable union of finite sets. Okay. Yep. So, and that's N. So, but how many, does that mean there's R many, there's continuum many components? If the component is of size N, then yes. Okay, yeah, because N times, because... 
anything uncountable should be the second multiple kin, right? Yes, and I mean, also how we, are, we are that theory works. <laughs> not assuming that a countable union of countable sets can be uncountable. Oh yeah, I mean we yeah this is yes <laughs> we're assuming choice. So yeah. yeah, so you can only you differ in. So repeat your thing with cofinite again. Um, yeah. Okay. So you're in the same connected component as the constant zero node. Mm -hmm. If you can get there in finitely many steps, which means finitely many of the bits aren't zero. So right. you can just think of everything before it starts to be constant zero. Mm -hmm. And I guess like we'll be we'll be overcounting, but we know it's infinite, yeah. and we're gonna end up at n anyway. So we didn't overcount. Yeah. Um, but, okay, so you can consider all the ones where it's length 1, and then all the ones where it's length 2, and so on. And okay. so then we have a countable union of finite sets, where the, the union is over the, the length of the part before it's constant 0. And so that's countable. Right. Um, okay. So each connected component is of countable size, and I think n times anything uncountable has the order of the second thing or not the order the cardinality so above the continuum well not above continuum above n above um like so okay so uncount. if so like let alpha be the cardinality of or let a i guess be the cardinality of the number of components mm -hmm. um if that is bigger than n, um, then n times a should have the same cardinality as a, if I'm remembering my set theory correctly. That feels right. Okay. It and like we, know, we know that that product is going to be the size of the entire graph, which is continuum. Mm -hmm. So that second component has to be continuum. Okay. So there's continuum many connected components. Does that sound right? Yes, I okay. completely agree with that. And now it is time. Jamie, pull that up. I'm, I'm pulling it up. <laughs> but I fully agree with the logic. So I, I, I am putting it out there. My name is Ethan and I agree with Benji on this. <laughs> This is going to be a really niche uh, stream, Bob. Hmm. Oh, it's okay. There, we don't, there's not a lot of uh, mathematics Minecraft streamers. <laughs> it's always good to, to, to know your niche and to have it be your own. Job security. If anybody wants to replace me, they have to like go to school <laughs> not that it's a job but <laughs> hobby security <laughs> you know our um analysis professor told me once that like there's like, there are some weird consequences of the axiom of choice, but the consequences of its negation are even weirder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I know in the finite case, this is called, I think... I forgot the guy's name. Hamming? of Hamming yeah. encoding? Yeah, so this is... Um... Oh, Hamming weight is like the distance between two strings, is that right? Hamming, dis uh, Hamming distance is it for binary. Okay. Um, or actually that might just be in general, but I guess... What is the name of the graph? There's like... A, it like it encodes hypercubes. Like if you have three binary three length three binary strings and mm -hmm. you do it by connecting by one off, you make a cube. Um 
if you if it's four and you do that, you get a hypercube. So on. Makes sense to me. So. But here we're considering the one where you have countably many <laughs> dimensions. Yeah. Countably infinitely many. I'm going to make a couple of tools right now. So I'm going to check off diamond shovel and diamond hoe and diamond axe and then gold axe and gold hoe. I have found a um, talk from a university in Ukraine about infinite generalization of Hamming space. Okay. Um, it is what language starts is it off in? with it's in English. Um, okay. It starts off with what, it, what we want, like it talks about what a Hamming space is. It you know it's a metric space defined on the n-dimensional hypercube with distance done by hamming distance and then it okay. says let zero one to to the naturals be the set of all infinite tuples um and let their distance be how many yeah um and then it starts talking about wreath products so uh, so they were not asking the question that we were asking yeah <clears throat> Let you be an infinite supernatural number? Excuse me? Um, yeah. It could be interesting to do, like, that thing I said about, like, Z. Um, could be interesting to think about, like, graphs on, like, ordinals. Mm hmm Where, like, maybe you're connected to your successors and... Maybe like the limit ordinals are connected to everything less than them. I wonder if you would get any kind of interesting properties on a graph like that. Any fun properties? What is fun about topology? <laughs> oh, have you been enjoying topology? It's been we we've talked about like stuff we already talked about in and out. So, oh, okay. Nothing interesting. Well, <laughs> our analysis professor, I think, uh, tried to squeeze as much topology into that class as he could. That is true. Uh, our yeah. analysis professor? Yeah. Yeah. Like, all that stuff about, like, um, you know, compact set. I mean, obviously, compact sets come up in analysis, but, like, he, he, was, he was taking a very topological view of it. Yeah. Saying, like, continuous image of compact sets and stuff and like i guess although no we only really went down to like metric spaces um but like i'm hearing from other then... people hmm? oh yeah go ahead i'm hearing from other people that like they stayed completely confined to rn until like the last week of analysis and then they talked about metric spaces for like a week <laughs> Yeah, we put every everything that could be generalized to metric spaces in our analysis class was. Mm -hmm. So, and again, that's that's definitely going to be useful in topology because we were essentially like right near topology. Like we we were yeah. talking about like we talked about um how like 
open or continuous functions can be defined as like pre-image of open is open. Right. Um, and, and that is how you define it. <laughs> yeah, so it, 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 he's been a little sneaky there <laughs> getting us all for topology. I can't find I'm I'm looking like for answers to this and Google is not giving it to me. I'm I'm tempted to ask ChatGPT not the question, but like if there's a for references name for this question. Uh, yeah, for references. Be like give me a paper. <laughs> And I guess like once you make you could you could think about generalizing this question, like making the strings longer. But I think the answer of how many connected components there are is just gonna be two to the how long are the strings, as long as the strings are infinite. And if they're finite, it's one. Yep, okay, so I, I put it into chat GPT and it figured out um that I'm talking about a hand. You, I think you might have cut out. Oh, no, I, I just stopped talking. Oh, okay. Infinite dimensional hamming cube. That's a really the band name. That that is a band name. Is it a band name or is it an album or song name? Sometimes it's hard to distinguish those. <laughs> like I feel like it's too long to be a band name. We study functions on the infinite dimensional Hamming cube. Fascinating. That's an album name. I don't know, somebody Please. in the in the um, when I upload the vod to YouTube, uh, people can fact check our proof. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the comments if you think we're wrong and why. Getting that comment engagement from only mathematicians. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I might wrap it up pretty soon here. Um, we could do some more mining, but I don't really feel like doing more mining. Although it is getting dark, so maybe, yeah, I'll do one more night and see if I can get some string and some gunpowder. And then once it's daytime, I think I'll wrap the stream up. Oh, wait a second. I think I found something. Oh. I think I found something. Um... Perfect binary codes of infinite length. I'm not paying for that. A subset C of infinite dimensional binary cube is called a perfect binary code with distance three if all balls of radius one in the Hamming metric with centers in pairwise disjoint and their union covers the binary cube. Similarly, 
we can define a perfect binary code in zero layer consisting of all vectors of infinite dimensional binary cube having finite supports. In this article, we prove that the cardinality of all cosets of perfect binary codes in zero layer is the cardinality of the continuum. Okay. Moreover, the cardinality of all cosets of perfect binary codes in the whole binary cube is equal to the cardinality of the hypercontinuum. I haven't fully parsed I don't know what if this that's means, but the same question that we were asking, but it sounds like an interesting question. It does sound like it because they're talking about the cardinality of cosets and mm -hmm. they're talking about distances of radius one in the Hamming metric. That's like uh, that I haven't actually, fully That's a good paper to give to like um like people of our <laughs> level of mathematical knowledge, like like where you're like just kind of about to start research but not really into it yet mm -hmm. like or i guess not even about to start research it's still probably a couple years off for me at least but like like you've taken like analysis um you kind of know what like an ordinal is <laughs> mm -hmm. um it's a, that'd be a good paper to like read for like Wait, practice i have i have access to the paper let's go oh great thank you university <laughs> I, don't know, I, I had a plan for that sentence, and then I realized halfway through it that I was going to, like, dox both of us, and I was like, how do I say this? <laughs> I don't know, I'll tell you it again later. <laughs> there are so few mobs in this version. But the mobs that there are, like... Kill you immediately, so that's probably why. Okay, consider in zero one to the naturals the following equivalents. U is related to U if the Hamming distance is not infinite. Okay, cool. That is what we're looking at, right? Yeah, we want to know how many equivalence classes. And I think the answer is if the length of the strings is infinite, then it's two to the length of the strings, and otherwise it's one. Okay. This equivalence splits the cube, zero, one to the end, into pairwise disjoint cosets, which we will call the layers of zero. Sure. We denote the layer containing the zero vector by zero one and call it the zero layer. It consists of all vectors of zero one having finite weight. Um, mm -hmm. It's a linear subspace, and every other layer is a coset of this subspace. That okay. checks out to me. Yeah, that um, makes sense. And we want to know how many cosets there are then? Yeah. Okay. So that, what did it end up being continuum? I'm still, I'm reading through the paper. It's like 10 pages. Okay. And I'm like, they're talking about a lot of other stuff in the meantime. Mm, they're like okay. bringing up Galois theory for some reason. So I'm they, they have a more important that... question that this is just like a stepping stone to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Continuum many coset. Okay. In the Hamming code H infinity, we consider a subspace generated by all vectors of weight three with the ith coordinate one. All possible cosets of the form. Um, okay, wait, I need you to redefine this. Hold on. There's several things missing here. We're talking about we're, we're, we're forming linear algebras over this. Help. <laughs> no? I'm scared. 
I think like this is a good question for like some people that we know. It's like practice. Mm -hmm. Like it, it combines a lot of things. And like instead of giving like the graph definition, we could give like the metric definition. Mm -hmm. And then instead of connected component, be like, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. I I'm a t I looks like I need to parse this definition before I go any further. Mm -hmm. A subset C of the infinite dimensional binary cube is called a perfect binary code with distance three if all right. balls of unity radius in the Hamming method with centers of C pairwise disjoint and their union covers the infinite dimensional binary okay. cube. So you can cover it by disjoint um like three balls so i guess the point of that is if you're doing like coding theory you want to be like um i i have like a very efficient like collection of things that are the same distance from some point mm -hmm. i don't know if i'm using those words right but like okay so consider like a few centers and then you want to take all the things that like can be achieved by just flipping like like however many errors you have in your error introducing thing uh, right. like like maybe you can you can have up to 3 bits get flipped um and you it want to like, like find centers where you like cover that whole set like without any overlap it Here's the thing that confuses me, though. It looks like 3 doesn't even come up in the definition. It says, if all balls of unity radius in the Hamming metric. So, it's a oh. set of items. What is the Hamming such... metric? It's how many bits do you differ by. But that could be infinite. Um, But here we're just saying, like, okay, I guess it's a pseudometric. I, that's not what a pseudometric is. But I think I know or, what you mean, like, some kind of generalization of the metric. Yeah. Um, but you... if So a ball of unity radius around a point is all of the strings that differ by one okay. bit. So this says a subset is a perfect binary code with distance 3 if all balls of unity radius centered around each point in... Okay this set, so all of the open balls with radius 1 in the Hamming metric around every single point in the set, um, they're all pairwise disjoint, and their union covers the cube. So this cuts the cube up into however many balls. Unity. Um, yes, have radius 1 and, and they're like all disjoint. Balls, I guess. Uh, Interesting. I wonder why that's hammering rate three. I mean, I guess if you take two points that are on the edge of your ball, then they're connected by a path with three nodes. That's the only connection to three I can think of. Yeah, because that's three doesn't come out up elsewhere in the definition. So I I'm gonna go with that. That there's like path like it's the the ball is just entirely full of paths the, of like, three. Diameter of the ball is three. Yeah. No, it would be two. Oh, wait, no, if you're doing the graph definition, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, um, I'll accept that. Um, <laughs> and, wait, each of those balls is the component. Right. Right? Okay, I wait, finally wait, understand the definition. No, not at all. What do you mean? Um the the component is uh like a a ball I don't, I don't know I don't know what this generalization of metric is um you're in the same component if you dip, if you differ in finitely many positions not just one but wait a second you're right shoot 
Anyway, the answer is continuum. We did it. <laughs> Given up so easily. Um, what is daytime? I didn't. I got a couple more string, but not enough to make the whole yet. So that'll, I think, be the first order of business next stream is. Um, let me let me just read off what we have left. Okay, so we have block of diamond, diamond boots, diamond chest plate, diamond helmet, diamond pants, diamond sword, gold boots, gold chest plate, gold helmet, gold ingot, gold pants, gold pickaxe, gold shovel, gold sword, and TNT and white wool, and that's it. Nice. All right. So, I th I think I am gonna call it a stream here, <laughs> but maybe if we remember, we can continue this discussion of infinite hammy yeah, cubes. I'll, I'll I'll send you link or oh, just the PDF of the paper. Mm -hmm. We can pour over it another time. <laughs> right. but I think that's gonna be the end of the stream, though. So, thanks for. Um, I mean, they already left, but thanks for tuning in before <laughs> our one viewer Goodbye. from before. Goodbye, and, Twitch um, users. Yeah. Uh, and again, let us know in the comments if you see any problems with our proof. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>